Right, this here is a TV Zen digital TV receiver. Very small, pocket sized. Liking it so far, it's, uh, as you can see, a lot smaller than the Galaxy S2 here. What it basically does is it receives TV pictures, uh, TV signals, should I say, uh, through this aerial here, which extends out and bends to get the best reception. So I'll just pop that out here like that. Uh, you can extend it out fully like this, and then you can bend it to suit the best, to get the best signal, should I say. So here you can have it flat, you can have it like that. You can twist it like that and get the best signal. On the front, we've got three activity lights, which you may just be able to see there. We've got the uh, sort of signal. It's receiving the Wi-Fi, because I'll tell you what that does in a minute, and the battery light, battery indicator there. It's charged um, from a little mini USB connector on the flap at the bottom here, which uh, you get a mini USB cable to plug into it. You can plug that into your computer or if you've got phone charge you can plug it into that as well so there's the uh, mini USB connector there now what this basically does is receives TV pictures TV signals from your local transmitter the digital ones uh, so you get free view effectively and then it creates its own hotspot you connect your phone to the Wi-Fi hotspot that this creates and then using an app which is available for uh, Android as well as iPhone, iPad, etc. You will show the pictures and you can change the channels, etc. Um, now there's a one button on the side here which turns it on and off. Press and hold on, press and hold off. As you can see, the device is very slim indeed, very nice and shiny, very pocket size. You can drop that in the bottom of your pocket. It's less, it's probably around about the same size as a credit card. Um, in dimensions obviously a little bit thicker but not that much thicker that you'd notice notice really so a tv zen or tv zen i've connected it up here on the right hand side you can see my little wi-fi um i've connected to the wi-fi hotspot that this is providing now we're going to download uh, and run the tv zen application which is available here and you can get it from the android market or google play as it's now called and it will load up first thing it's going to do is find all the channels that are available so you tell it what country you're in and then it will do a search for all the channels that are available can take some time especially the first time that you do the search um, don't forget this this app as I say is available for Android as well as uh, iPhone it'll do a search you can put the actual TV Zen device here on the left anywhere where there's a signal so I could put it upstairs where there's a better signal and better reception and um, have the phone downstairs you can obviously use your phone you can use cheap Android tablets whatever you want if you've got an old Android tablet with a resistive screen maybe that you don't want anymore you can use that as a cheap sort of portable television okay so we've now got the channels it's done a search and it's found a number of channels here Sky News challenge food network etc click on ok and it's a fairly basic interface i must admit you don't get the preview sort of logos or anything like that but this does look to be sort of a first version of this app especially on android so if i choose say uh, bbc news and flick around to the widescreen sort of and there we go that's bbc news great picture because it's digital television so there's no interference um it's breaking up already look at that but uh, what you can do obviously like i just said you can move this device so that it's you know sort of upstairs maybe put it upstairs plug it in permanently and then you can have your phone anywhere in the house or you can have your tablet anywhere in the house uh it's great for traveling so i've had this in the car if you're stuck in the car and you just want to catch up with a bit of news you don't want to use a data allowance this of course doesn't use any of your data allowance um, so let's go back and let's choose a different channel. We've got uh, a wide selection here. We've got the radio stations as well. And it picks those up and broadcasts it. And let's have E4 plus 1. Now, I think this might be encrypted. I'm not entirely sure, but let's just see what happens. Um, no, there you go. E4 plus 1. Uh, volume control, obviously, is down the bottom here. Very good picture. And again, like I say, if you've got an old Android tablet that's knocking around that you maybe don't want to use anymore, you can uh, find a new use for it here with the TV Zen digital TV receiver.
There you go, watching a bit of football. It's not costing me a penny. No streaming costs, no having to sit next to the mobile transmitter. Obviously you have to have a good um, a good proximity to the TV mast, but um, this, I must admit, has impressed me quite a bit. I do like the size, the portability, and uh, it just works.